All right, so John Morant is in line for a signature shoe with Nike. Now, he signed with Nike before his rookie uh, his rookie year, but the thing about it is Kyrie Irving um, has now, they have not parted ways with Kyrie Irving, Nike, so, um, and now they're announcing that, you know, John Morant will get a signature shoe, and it's kind of raising some antennas and some eyebrows, but John ja been with Nike uh, even before this. It was I seen an article in early September they said that he was expecting the signature shoe to drop this summer. Now, they said the signature shoe for him should be dropping in the near future. Maybe it's still the summer. Uh, but check out the NBA Talk playlist. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. And the subscribe button. It's the bell icon button. Hit uh, hit all notifications. Increase your chance of notifications. Check out the NBA Talk playlist for more videos like this. And um, shit, it is what it is. You know, Kyrie always had an excuse why not to play. Uh, when he didn't have an excuse why not to play, he was injured, all that type of stuff, man, that's bad for business. Um, like him and him and Kevin Durant, only really the ones got the kind of semi-fashionable uh, shoes to wear. As far as Nikes, they, you know, really the sneaker world, not Nike get away with this shit, but really the sneaker world is living off the past. You know, they living off the Barkley, they living off the Griffies, they living off the top tens. Um, you know, they living off the, you know, it was his Shaq Gnosis, whatever them, him not, no, I mean, living off older shoes, phone posits, Air Max 97s, 8s, whatever the hell they was, old George, nobody really got a fashionable new shoe, and the ones that closest to a fashionable new shoe is Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving Nike shoes, and you can wear them with, like, Nike jogging suits and stuff of that nature, and take whatever they wearing now, tech suits and with all, all that, but none of these dudes' shoes, like, come on. None of them have a crossover appeal that some of the other shoes in the past have. You know, most of them don't have a crossover appeal. Let's keep it real. That's why people would rather keep buying the same shoe over and over with with mild uh, my, or you know mild modifications to them. Nobody nobody talk about that. All these niggas got these sneaker channels and all this stuff, but they don't ever talk about how there is no innovation, there is no new create, there is no creativity when it comes to creating these sneakers, bro. All these niggas seeing signature sneakers be trash. Giannis signature she, she, uh, sneaker was trash. I seen a few of the Jordan brand shits was trash. You know what I'm saying? Like y'all running out of ideas, but that's how it is in Hollywood. You know, it's not a lot of creativity in Hollywood. All the creativity is on the lower level, the big jobs and the country wanes and they skits and they little mini movies, Desi Banks and them be better than the Tubi movies, be better than, you know, some of the major movies. It's all the same thing. Like, creativity is really lacking, you know, in, in Hollywood, in the music, entertainment, sports world. But kind of like how Kanye West, you know, was no longer a billionaire, all of a sudden Diddy always finally became a billionaire. People say, well, I thought Diddy was already a billionaire. Nah, Diddy was not already a billionaire. You know, all them, Rihanna, Dre, Kanye, all them had passed him up. If Dre is a billionaire, but Jay-Z, you know what I'm saying, he, ain't, he wasn't no billionaire. He was close, but he wasn't. So to me, it kind of made it look, you know, look a little fishy. But at the end of the day, it was already articles that Jaws was getting his signature shoe back in September. And maybe they had already made the decision back then that they would no longer work with Kyrie and all that type of stuff. So be it. Kyrie ain't got nobody to blame for himself. For his, you know, his, his uh, inability to stay on the court. If you ain't playing and putting up numbers and, and, and putting yourself and winning games, winning championships, people are not going to buy your signature shoe. Straight up like that. So Nike really don't have no morals. It's just, you know, at the end of the day, he, he, you know, being synonymous with Kyrie is more hurtful than helpful. There's no market for Kyrie. Who, come on. I mean, as far as who? The woke community? The Hebrew, Hebrew Israelites going to buy a bunch of Kyries? They're a fraction of, 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 the pop, or of the consumer base. A small fraction. So it's really not a, a, a big enough, you know, fan base to get you know to still keep, keep supporting Kyrie this being real if you ain't playing you ain't being successful guess what you won't get an endorsement deal and he's been notoriously notoriously known throughout his career for, for being injury prone being not available you know what I'm saying and now you throwing the woke shit in there that's why I say man you shouldn't you're better off not uh, discussing politics and, 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 and religious views at the workplace. Trust me. Trust me. And everybody said, well, athletes have a platform and all that. What have they ever changed? Who have they brought back from police brutality? Who have they stopped from committing police brutality? How have they counteracted racism? 
How have they changed? Uh, how have they even the board for, for black people? They haven't. Through the NFL, NBA, Major League Baseball, there's one majority one majority black owner. So come on, what has it done? It's done nothing. Everybody want to point out the, the, the hypocrisy or point out the inconsistency and point out, oh, it's one, minor, one majority, a minority majority owner. You know what I'm saying? Well, it's two. If you include Shaq Khan, I'm talking black. You know what I'm saying? But what's been done about it? Jay-Z, you know, hitching his wagon to Jeff Bezos, he won't be the majority owner. He's going to be a minority owner of probably the Washington Commanders or the Carolina Panthers now. Minority, he's not the majority. Michael Jordan is the only black majority owner in major league sports, major American sports. That's it. So something about the algorithm got got it. Something about the formula got to change. And athletes speaking on politics ain't doing nothing but taking money and taking viewership away from them. If you really gonna do it, do it big. Say y'all, we ain't we ain't doing this shit no more. We do our own league and we gonna put our own shit together so y'all give us more um, uh, uh, black uh, black owners. But ain't nobody really ain't nobody really to go go all in for their pocket. You know, go all, go all, go all in at the expense of their pockets. I told y'all just because they make you see millions and millions, and just like you every, every week you get your paycheck. A lot of y'all get y'all paychecks. Y'all treat yourself with a little bit of money or the money you got left over. They do the same shit. They live above their means. Way above that means. And you should always feel you live a few notches among your means just in case. It's the same thing. Ain't them them dudes can't them dudes gotta maintain a lifestyle. You asking kids to maintain a lifestyle who ain't never you know they never had a check. Who ain't never worked for a check. Ain't never balanced a checkbook. Ain't never paid bills. They never, you know, do none of that. Don't understand how taxes work, or they ain't taking up taxes. This, that, and the third. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, I, I feel I feel what everybody you know what everybody's saying, but they ain't willing to go as deep as they need to go for this cause. Don't even just don't even you know what I'm saying. It's no point. Shout out to Job Morant. Um, make it seem like they bumming Kyrie for Job, but Job had already had a signature shoot coming, um, and maybe that was a, a, a direct effect of Kyrie, but. It is what it is. What it is. Kyrie is self-inflicted. We can't see Kyrie score points and do shit spectacular with Nikes on. It's not happening Nike. Nike. We don't care about your Hebrew Israelites cause. We don't care about none of that shit. We care about Nike is in the business of making money. And that's it. So uh, let me know what you girls and guys think. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance to get notifications. We go live and drop a video financially. One sport the channel, Cash App, Dollar Sign, CJ Good 313, Venmo, CJ Good 313, PayPal link in the description. Appreciate the love, support, peace.